In the healthcare system, bacterial-based infections are considered especially heinous. In Aid, Ohio, the dedicated students who investigate these vicious infections are members of an elite squad known as the MRSA Victims Unit. This is their research. <laughs> MRSA is a gram-positive bacteria that has a staphylococcus arrangement. It can also contain a PVL toxin, which is responsible for MRSA's virulence. MRSA is mainly spread by direct contact with infected skin, but can also be spread by fomites such as razors and towels. Here is an example of how MRSA may be spread in a community setting. This is also known as community-associated MRSA. Hey, you know what? Can we switch? Oh, I'd rather not, dude. I just found out how to cover this man right here. Surface proteins allow MRSA to attach to host cells, such as fibronectin. It avoids the host cell's defense by producing a microcapsule that prevents phagocytes from destroying the bacteria. Several toxins and enzymes are released that allow the bacteria to invade and destroy the host tissue. It exits directly from the infection site and then can colonize on the surface of skin and other objects until direct contact with another person. When MRSA is being tested, a sample is generally taken from the nostrils or a cut or wound site of a possible infected person and is sent to a lab. There, an agar-based test is conducted while a secondary cephaloxetin disc screen test is done. Results usually take one to two days because the growth of MRSA culture is the easiest way to detect. It is not only important to determine whether the bacteria is present, but which antimicrobial treatment it is resistant to. There are multiple strains of MRSA and they can have different resistances. If MRSA is detected, community screenings are often required so that the presence of an outbreak can be simplified by diagnosing the community, especially in hospitals or nursing homes. After the test is performed, if the results come back positive, the physician should start a plan of treatment for the patient based on the strain of MRSA identified in the test. Some of the symptoms of MRSA include fatigue, fever and chills, feeling ill, a headache, a rash, and wounds that don't heal properly. MRSA can be found commonly on the legs, groin, butt, or back of the neck, but can be found anywhere. The skin may be red, swollen, warm to touch, or full of pus. The best prevention against MRSA is always to practice good hygiene. Wash hands often and thoroughly with soap and water, dry with a disposable towel, and use the towel to turn off faucet or to open doors. Use hand sanitizer containing at least 62% alcohol. Keep body clean and shower directly after exercising. Do not share personal items such as razors or towels. Keep wounds clean and covered until healed and dispose of the bandages properly. Wash clothes, sheets, and towels with water and laundry detergent, and use a hot dryer than, rather than air drying to kill bacteria.
not in my house. <laughs> not today. <laughs>